Hello friends, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where you're watching from. I just want to make this, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's very important to me that the whole world know what is happening. We're living in a generation wherein we proclaim that we are one, whether black, white, red, green, yellow, short, tall, or whatever. That is the proclamation. But we have been facing a, a kind of battle for some years now. Uh, by the way, if some of you don't know who is speaking, my name is Philip Bukolo Iwali. I'm a Baptist pastor, um, an accredited Baptist minister in the United Kingdom, and also a ordained Baptist minister in the Nigerian Baptist Convention. I've been here in the UK in the last 16 years, but we moved to a local church called Cottingham Baptist Church, a white-dominated church, about 12 years ago. And um, for some of you that didn't know the story of the church, it was a local Baptist church that was about to be shut down. And what has been the experience when churches have been shut down is that they will be sold to unbelievers, to Muslims. They will take it over. And by the mercy of God, we came here about 12 years ago, met with four, four white ladies, old ladies. Two have died. And thankfully to the glory of God, our mother, Mama Barbara, is still, she's still alive up to now. She's 88 years old. And the other lady, Mary, she's still around. And the two of them, they love the Lord. They serve the Lord. They accepted us as human beings. They are treating us as human beings. They are not looking at us as animals. But it's un very unfortunate that some other people that call themselves Christians, uh, they, they, they hate us with passion. I've tried to endure this. I mean, some of you must have heard or must, must have seen it in the past when I came in and I speak about how our cars were being boggled, how, how the church were being robbed, was being robbed. Several times we were robbed. They stole our stuff that what uh, thousands of, of pounds. But I decided to start this. Uh, I'm looking for the right English, I'm going to call it, because uh, I will not stop and I will continue to fight and I will raise my voice all over the world. Uh, I'm looking for the right English I'm going to use because we are not animals. Now, let me show you the, the letter. A particular woman, she has written several letters to me, calling me names, calling the church members' names, calling Mama Barbara, the, whole, the white woman that is the church administ administrator, names. We've reported that to the police. Nothing has been done in the past. And if the police will not do anything, then we need to start telling the whole world what they are doing to us in Liverpool. That is wrong, that is bad. Now, let me show you the, 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 what this woman sent to me this morning. I just came into the office and she sent this to me. Now, in it, she said, this monkey looks just like you. Now, how will you feel? How will you feel if you wake up, you, you get to your office in the morning, and somebody is saying to you, this monkey looks just like you? Oh, what a way to describe another person. And of course, does the monkey look very much like me? Do you think this monkey looks like me? And we've reported to the police they will not come they will not do anything she has written on our because our house faces the church opposite the church she has written a lot of things a lot of bizarre words like um, you animals go back to the zoo and not the like and i'm going to start this i'm looking for the right english i've not find the english <laughs> uh, unfortunately um it's a protest isn't it that's the right word. It's, I'm going to start this protest and I'm happy and I'm ready to take it to anywhere. Uh, after doing this on Facebook, I'm going to be contacting the BCOS. If truly United Kingdom belongs to other people, I'm going to make sure that even Echo, I'm speaking to Echo today, where is equality? Where is equality? Where do we pretend to love other people of other nations? And we call them monkeys. We call them animals. We call the police. The police will not react. The ham robbers, or if they are not ham robbers, robbers, they came to the church. We call the police. They will not come. Which kind of country are we living in? Institutionalized racism in the in, in United Kingdom. They will talk about black people being bad, but they will not talk about not giving attention to people that are racially discriminating against other people. Now, somebody is going to say, yes, if they are discriminating against you, go back to your country. My friend, I came to this country, paid my school fees for, for seven or even ten years. 
did my master's, did my PhD, paid for my for my study here. I earned my citizenship here. I didn't come illegally. I'm not living illegally here. I'm working here. I'm paying taxes. My wife is paying taxes. My church members are paying their taxes. We are adding to the value of the country. And yet, nobody is willing to arrest a woman that is calling my people monkeys. Calling black people monkey. Nobody is willing to do anything. Are we truly monkeys? If I go to a house and I start writing stuff under the pretense of freedom of speech, if I start calling her names that they call white people, because we can call names too. We can call white people white trash. Is that not what they call them? We can call them bastard. We can call them thieves. Because they stole our father's property in those days. But nobody is dealing with that. Enough of racism. This has to stop. Now, all of you, my friends, if it's not affecting you today, you may keep quiet. But one day it's going to affect you. They will call your children. They will bully your children and call them names. Now, this doesn't make any difference to me. That is our own opinion. I know who I am. I know my identity in Christ. I'm not bothered. But we must stand against injustice. We must fight against evil in the society. If nobody's willing to fight, some of us will fight. If Martin Luther the Jr. didn't fight on that day, the Americans will not have the opportunity of becoming, of becoming the black Americans will not have the opportunity of becoming something in the United States of America. Somebody needs to stand and fight in the United Kingdom. Enough is enough. I know that some of our black folks, they can't even get good job that they qualify for because of this. Because they see us as monkeys. Now, if somebody thinks a black person is a monkey, you're making a very great, great mistake. Because we are not. I am not a monkey. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And God knows I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Therefore, I need all of you, my friends, that love the truth, that love justice. This campaign, I will not stop. I'm going to continue. Um, as a matter of fact, immediately I finish this one. I know my temperament. When I want to do something, I don't do it fast. Then I, I, I will forget. I will forget her and forgive her the way I've been forgiving her. Because she's not the only one. There are other people that I hate black people in the places of work. They, they malign them. They bring them down. They look at them as animals. We are not animals. We are human beings. We came to this country to fulfill our destiny. We came to this country so that we can make our life better. How many times has a white person gone to Nigeria and they treat them differently? You come to Africa, you go to Nigeria, they treat you like king and nobles. And you are, not, you are not better than any one of us. Some of white people are not even as educated as we are. And because of, who you, because of the opportunity you have, you are calling black people animal. Friends, evidences. This is, I can't count the number of this letter I've received within, within three months. Calling me different kind of name, but this one is good anyway. The, the monkey looks nice. This monkey looks just like you. Can you imagine? This woman will even mention the name of my children. Mention the name of her children. Mention the name of my children. Call different kind of thing. And for your information, every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, this church filled the homeless. In the last 10 years, we've been feeding white people. You will never see a single black man that is homeless that will come. We feed about 200 to 300 every week. We are not animals when we are feeding your homeless people. But we are animals. All because we dress nice. All because we sing. All because we serve the Lord. Now, I'm asking you, my friends that are watching this, to please share this on the authorities that will not partake in institutionalized racism. The police in Merseyside, in, in Liverpool, they are doing nothing about it. They are condoning this woman. They are condoning this, this injustice, condoning this racism. We are not going to stop. If nobody will join in this campaign, I will do the campaign. I don't care what you say or what you think. I am going to take the battle to the whole world. Everybody must hear that they should stop calling black people monkeys. They should stop treating us monkeys. Our children are not monkeys. My children are not monkeys. If you make it, if you make us feel like monkey, or you think we are monkey, we are not monkeys. So ladies and gentlemen, as I round up this ranting, because to somebody it's going to be a rant, but you will soon see that I'm not ranting, that I mean business, and I'm going to take this campaign to the gate we are needed to be taken to. As we fight spiritually, as we pray spiritually, so also we are going to use the power of media to tell the whole world that in Liverpool, where they brought our forefathers in chains, 
They brought them in chains. They brought them here, here in this Liverpool. The blood of racism is still waging war in this Liverpool. They hate black people. They hate us. They call us this. It's not just me. I believe there are other churches that are getting this, but some people cannot talk. They can't speak out. Philip Oyewale will speak out against injustice until we find somebody doing something, telling people that the life of black people matters. Do you want to wait until they start shooting us the way they are killing people in America? We are not going to stop. We are not going to keep quiet. You mu we must be treated with dignity and honor. That is who we are. We are men and women of peace. We live for peace and we deserve to be treated equally like every other person. Please kindly help me share this so that they know that this is not the association of, of people that are morons. We are not morons. We know where we are doing. God bless you. Thank you for watching.